Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brickzar. This video is going to be looking at some packages. I got some viewer mail. I got two sets already opened. Um, and then I got this thing from Lego. But before I get all to this, uh, I am, well, I'm also going to be looking at the color chart. I haven't updated a color chart in forever because there hasn't been, to my knowledge, anything new until now. And now we're about to get a whole bunch of things new. When I say my color chart, I'm specifically only talking about 2 by 4 bricks with the Lego logo on them. That's my collection of things for the color chart. You could have color charts that cover every color if you wanted to. Uh, so we're going to be uh, talking about that. But I just uh, before I get to all this, I w wanted to say something. I was watching the Cali Brick Click podcast and they had JB Brick Fanatics on there. And I had totally forgotten about this, uh, but he was one of the early adopters uh, to the 2x4 red brick being signed and uh, which you know I did that years ago I think I, I think I did up to 200 you know 200 2x4 bricks signed they were signed and numbered and that, that when anybody would wanted one or placed a brick link order I'd send them one and anyway hearing him talk about that I was like oh my I like Pablo picking a brick link Lego order that's what that was from and I was like that was one of my series that I'm like I don't know why people like it <laughs> but he liked it and I think it's especially nice for if you place the order just to see the behind the scenes so I did the Pablo he did the reverse Pablo which is also known as a hall and anyway so he's grown from that to now he's got a Lego set that I am I hadn't planned on getting it the uh, the BTS set, but now even though I have no interest in BTS, it's like I think I need to get it now. Uh, but anyway, I just listen to him talk and listen to him talk about being an Empire Lug and Empire Lug doing a train layout, and I'm just like, I want to be one of the cool kids too. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, they go check it out. Kelly Brick Click. Uh, they interviewed. Um, Josh from JB Brick Fanatic. So it's just, it's just like when you've been on YouTube a long time and you have these interactions, like sometimes the people they grow up and they go on to do other things or they go on to do better things with Lego. And it's just like, it's just really neat seeing uh, the progression there uh, from, from him. But and here I am still doing the same stuff. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to be uh, unboxing this stuff. So I'm going to come to the other side of the camera and we're going to talk about why I'll never build these sets. All right, so these were uh, two sets. That I think they came out March 1st. I don't keep up with that kind of stuff, but they, um, I had remembered seeing this, and I thought, oh, I need to get that because it might have a 2x4 brick. But when I, I didn't see a 2x4 brick, so to speak, necessarily, I mean, that could be one, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I went to Walmart, and then I saw, oh, the 2x4 brick. So it's a new color of 2x4 brick. Uh, highlighter yellow. I mean, some people think it's like too repulsive. I thoroughly love it. Uh, I think it's called, I think Lego calls it vibrant yellow. I call it highlighter yellow. Some people call it other things because they, they don't like it. But I was so excited uh, to get that. And I appreciate everybody that commented on my Instagram post. Uh, I was, uh, uh, they were telling me, oh, there's other new 2x4 brick colors this year. And one of them was in the same set. <laughs> it was this, all right, which is, uh, I know sometimes it doesn't show up good. Some people, it's my post, because I, I don't take good pictures, they, they thought it was red, but I'll pull red up here. Yeah, it's not red. And that's the coral, which will glow under a black light. And somebody said I need to put this on a black light too i haven't tested it with the black light yet i don't think uh, so that'll be something I, I will do I, you know i i broke two of my backlights <laughs> i have the uh the incandescent or they they're fluorescent but they plug in like an old-fashioned light bulb and i i've broke two of them so i i gotta get a more i gotta buy some more black lights but yeah so two new colors in the same set and then if I had known, so I bought this set just because I saw that. And, I, was, and I, I didn't know the coral was going to have it. But this one also had this color, which according to New Elementary, it, th this was a new one, but it's not. Because 
or maybe I misread it. I could have misread it. Let me get my uh, lavender. So we got lavender, and I'm pretty sure that's the same lavender. Uh, so, and then this one I thought, oh, was this one? No, no, it's not. I mean, I got this in my Brickling store. It's not new, uh, but I got to update the name. It's, this is one of those that's sad. So I got a medium, I call it medium dark flesh. I think it's medium nougat. Um, although it looks a little bit different. Um, but they said this isn't new in two by four. And I was looking at this brick and I'm thinking, I think this, uh, I'll take this off. This brick here, I think is one of those I paid like $30 for back in the day. And now you can get these for like 20 cents. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happens when you have a, a weird collection like you buy non-production colors like I've bought a lot of non-production colors and I'll show you the whole chart here in a minute where I can focus on it but yeah then something you bought because it never was in a set and then they put it in a set so let me look at something on this real quick all right so this is going to be disappointing so I, I just looked on Bricklink and so yeah this is definitely lavender uh, again this was a non-production color because when I look at brick link currently because they don't have the new sets like this one they don't have it in there so yeah this is officially a new color as far as being in a set but unfortunately for me <laughs> I paid the premium price and at, at the time of this uh, there's only 24 listings on brick link for this piece uh, so it's coming out there now. You'll be able to get it cheaper. So oh, that's so disappointing. I mean, it's not. It's 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 not. I guess being an early adopter, that's the part that makes it disappointing. But I'm not disappointed that Lego put it in a set. I'm just disappointed I didn't have the patience uh, to wait to it came and said. I don't know how long ago I got this. I mean, probably bought it from Max. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely the same color, but it never been in a set till. March 1st. So basically, if you bought Creative Pastel Fun, you would get three new variations of the 2x4 brick. And if you never had a chance to get the, uh, this one's not new. I know this one's not new. I have it already on my color chart as well, Light Aqua. Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to start a 2x4 brick collection, there you go. So I'm, I'm not into the classic sets. I, I'm not saying that they are bad or anything. I just, I like builds that are like things that, and these are more like creative sets, which is what Lego is all about being creative. I'm just not very creative. And I, I, I like building cars, trucks, trains, airplanes, houses, <laughs> and I'm too lazy to design things myself. But these are to, designed to inspire inspiration. Uh, and I think this one, I, I, mean, I kind of like the pastels here now, now that I think of it. But anyway... I am not keeping anything in here. I'm just going to part these out and uh, keep the things I want for the collection, the 2 by 4 bricks, and go from there. Ooh, look, it's got a lime and white one, too. I, I almost missed this. It also has a 2 by 8 plate, which I need for my train, so I'll be keeping that. All right, so yeah, this is my uh, color chart. So this, I think there's a hundred bricks on here. Every different variation of two by four, sol mostly solid color. I mean, I know I got some of the frosted. Where are they? Oh, down here, there's some of the frosted um, inside things. I don't know those technically should be differentiated from the regular trans red, tra trans yellow stuff, but I got them on there too. I have some that came from the keychains like chrome rose, chrome metallic green. There's uh, this metal black that came from a keychain. I think there's a, oh yeah, m metal light blue that came from it. Uh, but yeah, this these are new colors. This one will probably go on here somewhere. That'll probably go on that row somewhere too. The um, I'll just set them over here where they show up on the, the camera. So that'll add to, unfortunately, I already paid probably a premium for that one. But if you don't have a lavender 2x4 brick and you collect 2x4 bricks, you can get one now in the set. But yeah, that's the color chart. And I'm really, I think I may have talked about this the last time I did the color chart update. But these bricks are getting, I mean, some of them are scratched up just from, they were already scratched up. But a lot of stuff that wasn't scratched, like my chrome bricks, they're getting scratched. Um, this is not the best way to store them. I mean, 
I've I've scratched this one up really bad. Even even my medium dark flesh it's is scratched pretty bad. So I got to come up with a better way. I think I probably just need to put these on a base plate and and look at them from the top like this instead. Do it that way. Um, I like this idea I got from Max Cross, the 3001 a Brick Oddity. Uh, he's the one that did the little, that looks like little paint samples you see at the store. <laughs> That's why I liked it. But I shouldn't lay them flat like this. I should stand them up and not handle them so much. <laughs> But handle them and sliding them around, they, they get all scratched up. But anyway, that's my color chart. I think it's going to be 102 bricks. Oh, and there is another color. So again, this is technically new for being in a set. Not a, not even on BrickLink yet. It's just you can see it on items for sale, but not in sets that it came in yet. Uh, but this is because this inventory isn't on BrickLink yet. Uh, but there's another one. There's the trans opaque whatever one that you see in some of the um, Friends or Disney Princess sets. So there, that's coming. And I did buy the set that that has, even, has it, even though the set was $90. It's another classic set. So thank you, Lego, for putting the 2x4 bricks in these classic sets and making me buy them. All right, now we'll get to the viewer mail. This one's from Daniel. Let's see what it is here. I hope I didn't just tear it. Ah, huh. <laughs> he sent a 612 instruction manual. I wonder where that could go to. Oh, look, I'll build it real quick. Um. <laughs> That's the tipper truck. Let's see what he's got here. So this is an interesting uh, request. Daniel sent the instructions to his tipper truck, and he would like me to sign them. <laughs> and I'm going to mail them back to him. Oh, these are nice. Uh, so yeah, I got to sign his. So I guess I should do the front cover for that. I'm trying to. Uh, I feel the pressure. I like. I feel like I'm going to damage them. All right. So let me get my marker. This is hard. I have never done this. I've never signed an instruction manual. I have signed a pamphlet. I don't think I've ever signed an instruction manual. Um, oh, man. <laughs> there we go. Just might as well do it. Okay. Uh oh I wrote on the table. <laughs> I'll do it like that. So I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, this is just a regular old tipper truck. I'm going to bring in tipper truck TV, <laughs> tipper truck, and do a selfie, I guess. <laughs> All right, Dan and Melissa, um, you, you are officially have received the first selfie ever with the most famous tipper truck in the whole world, the tipper truck from tipper truck TV. I did a short that I'll put over there on tipper truck TV. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> and this will go in the uh, self-addressed stamped envelope that you included. All right, the next one is from our longtime supporter, Barry Francis from the UK. And I think I know what this is because he saw the, the Buggles Kelly thing. And I, they're both in the UK. But I am going to need to open this. There we go. Yeah. All right, so he had sent this already uh, before I posted that video. It finally has made it here. The UK, they have strikes and stuff with their postal service. Uh, but uh, he knows me well. He says, I know you collect Duplo and Lego Dinosaur. So when I saw this new Lego magazine, I knew I had to send you a copy. Though I think you may have the set <laughs> the dinosaur originally came in. That's very possible. It's probably the Duplo uh, Jurassic World set. I hope as this is a gift and you didn't actually purchase it yourself that it doesn't contravene the rules of your no more purchasing lego in january so he sent this in the first week of january and it took like two months to get here i saw the postmark is like uh january 7th all right and i'm filming this in march so, so <laughs> um so 
it did it, if even if I had got it in January, it would not have um, messed that up. But I appreciate it so much. And uh, what we're gonna do so. Buggles Kelly sent me the same thing. So now I didn't open the one that she sent me, uh, but this is gonna give Milo something to play with. Not this book, but um, this dinosaur. So I'm gonna see if I can take this off without destroying the magazine. Where's my cutters? I don't have my cutters. <laughs> I'm just going to open up. So I got a sealed one. I said, I didn't open... When Barry sent me the message, I said, okay, I'll, I'll just open this one that he sends. Even though it has a flap, I'm cutting it. All right. Let's see what's in this bag. Yep. Oh, it's a dinosaur. What color is that? Is that the... Um, Yellowish green. Why can't I focus on anything? There, that's a little better. So, I'll put up there. Oh, I got toys in the living room for when Milo comes over. And I think he can play with this. I don't, it says for children two to five, but I think he's safe with this. So, when you see, if, you, if I do a video with Milo playing and he has this, it's yours, Barry. Uh, the other stuff, the Primo stuff that Buggles Kelly, he's been playing with that. He loves the Primo stuff too, so he'll be shaking this and throwing it across the living room floor. <laughs> so now we'll get to the stuff from Lego. I don't think this is everything I ordered. I did order some things that were back ordered. Oh yeah. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, I didn't order this the first wave, but when I was trying to get to the amount to get the gift with purchase, I was like, I do collect speed champions. I usually try to wait till they're 20% off. Like in March, there's a whole new wave of speed champions. I'm going to try to be patient and wait. Although some I may decide to go ahead and get anyway. But uh, when there's a good gift with purchase, um, I like to get them. So this is a Nissan. So he's going to need new catalytic converters soon. Uh, we got... A new flower set, the Daffy Dills. We got, oh, sh dang it. <laughs> I was placing another order today for in March. So this is, I'm filming this on March 3rd. And I need, I was trying to get to the limit to get the free item. And I was like, I don't think I got this set. And I was like, oh. I, and now when I open this, I'm like, I already ordered it. I really need to start writing down what I order. <laughs> And this is the free gift with purchase. So I'm going to take this upstairs and build it. Uh, a lot of times I wait. Sometimes I, I never build stuff. But yeah, I think I'm wanting to build this one. Um, now I got this set. Um, Milo's already got one. His other grandfather on his dad's side uh, bought him this set. They were like, they were actually apologizing to me because they bought him. A, I was like, no. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll buy this for me. <laughs> it's okay if other people buy him Lego. And then uh, this flowers. Oh man, this one. Looks, this one looks really good. I, I'm really loving these flower sets, and I'm setting them up in the office. Oh, and so one more thing. So you can always see that the basement is an utter mess. Um. But I have been putting a dent. We've, I've been parting out some sets. Uh, this part of the basement is really, really dark. So this is where I usually hang things on the wall. Um, I got a lot of uh, posters and stuff. And I do want to get the ladder. Eventually, I want to fill the whole wall up. <laughs> I've done other videos on this. I got more posters to put up. It's just a matter of getting the light. Uh, but before we go, I want to show you all a Lego miracle. Because we are going up here so I built this last week and for the first time since 1997 <laughs> there's Lego that's not in the office or the basement now that's actually on the living room wall we're, we're probably not gonna leave it there we'll probably find another spot but this this Lego art is amazing it's impressive but if you, if you see the basement, you see why uh, that stuff's usually not allowed upstairs. <laughs> but uh, 
I'm really happy that uh, with that set. That was actually a really I was not familiar with the art, and even though I do like art, like art, art, like paintings and such. I wasn't familiar with that painting, but it's really, it's really good. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the channel members. I need to do some updates for you guys. Uh, I appreciate the support. If you want to be a member, uh, uh, you know, the buttons down there. Uh, I I need to adjust the perks just to make it uh, more of what things that I can do. But uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, who has uh, supported me. I need some new icons. I need, because I've been doing this for several months, I need to put more icons on there for people because like the longer you're a member, you, you're able to get new icons that you have beside your name. So I need to do, update that. But I'm not very technologically savvy, even though that's what I work with. Anyway, I'm going to go see you guys in the next video. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy.